I'm about to talk to the author of the Civitas report, which was published overnight, uh, which says that in the year 2000, there were 24 million people living in this country who took more out of the system than they paid into it. And that number has now rocketed, exploded to 36 million, 53 percent of Britons. And by the way, we do include in this pensions, we do include in this health care. But the thought we're now living in a country that's had 12 years of conservative rule, where a majority of the country are net recipients from the state, surely this can't go on. No, absolutely. And they're really interesting statistics. It's kind of what I was getting at with that point about there being another quango or, or the, the ever growing size of the state uh, in terms of some of those um, areas where the government just doesn't need to get involved and the cost spirals through the roof. Uh, I think it's the, the answer to this is to have a very serious conversation about what is government for? Because you can't be everything to everyone all the time, uh, and nor should we try to be. I'd much rather government did less and did it better. And I think most taxpayers would be too. Uh, but I totally agree it's not a sustainable situation. No, no. And, you know, your, you know, your taxpayers, your hard workers in your constituency, whether they're self-employed or working for companies, they are paying ever more of their money to an increasing number of people, Ben, who choose not to work. Do you see those simmering resentments on the streets? We well, certainly see people frustrated at paying more tax and, and perceiving that they receive less. I'm not sure it's a direct correlation between, um, you know, uh, tax and, and unemployment, although welfare is the biggest level of spending. But I think public services more generally, so I run a council, we're having conversations about, you know, maybe I don't do landscaping at schools anymore because the private sector can do that, uh, because I need to fund children's services and adult care. Government needs to do the same, in my view, uh, and focus on the things that really matter and get its fingers out some of the other expensive stuff that they don't need to be involved in. Ben Bradley, thank you for joining us.